hello friends so let's welcome to all of you so today we will start like of the 8 10 invoice this topic describes the electronic data interchange pda standard that business transaction intelligence implement for document type 8 10 or invoice which in itemize the buyer purchases segment big beginning of the segment for the invoice this contain the loop level of heading uses must use uh, cement cementing routes like uh, bg01 choose the invoice data date bg04 contain the information with the purchase order number and then order for the purchase order to be linked uh, the invoice if multiple purchase order numbers are associated with the invoice an invoice detail is required a reference element name requirements uses bg01 2 3 or 4 what is the meaning of this BGI BIG01 date mandatory must be used and BIG02 use invoice number mandatory and BIG03 date option is not used, it's required, it's required then it can use and BIG04 purchase order number option must use. If we talk about segment CUR currency, it contain the loop level heading uses options use and comment this segment specify the currency that is used in transaction. Reference element name requirement uses in current is 01 and current is 02, which is 01 it must use and 2 is also must use for the code. Segment REF uh, reference identification and uh, it contains the loop level of heading uses option used in text like REF01 is set, REF02 is required. Segment loops REF01 is set to PO, then REF02 per zero number when the number exceeds 22 characters. If REF01 is set to CN, then REF02 the pro invoice number. REF01 is set BM, then REF02 is the bill of lending number. If I REF01 is set of MA, then REF02 is the manifest number. Segment IT1. Baseline item data is called the invoice details. Okay. And the loop IT1 it's label details, user indication options, text notes. Uh, if any qualified field identify a PO, the corresponding service ID field is required. Cementing notes IT 101 refers to the line item on that original purchase order. IT 103 interpreted uh, as uh, UN units if it is not specified. IT 105 interpreted as PE price of each if it is not specified. If multiple purchase order are referenced by the invoice, then one of the qualifier fields IT106, IT108, and so on. It's set to PO, post office. And if multiple purchase order are referenced by the invoice, then one of the set service ID uh, field that is associated with the PO qualifier stores the purchase order uh, number of that line item. Uh, the first UPC qualifier that is found in the list is used the following product service. ID qualifier are UPC related U, U2, UPC EM, ship, shipping container information like code which can, you can see 12551, UA UPC EN code, case code is called 255, UD UPC EN consumer package code 255, UI UPC consumer package code 155, UK GTIN 14 jet UPC EN ship, shipping container code 12551. And UP, UPC contain consumer package code is 1551. The default configuration searches for the following list of the product qualifier codes are for match MG, PI, SK, VC, VN, VP, MN, EN, EO, OM, PU, PN, ZZ, XA, XP, IS, S, IS, GS, BP, CB, IN, EP, F1. The first of the product qualifier code found in the list is extracted in the and displayed in the UI in the line of the item section when using the default configuration the contain the content associated associated with the product qualifier is referenced by the line item matching algorithm which links a line item between two related two related docs I types the all line item qualifier codes in the list and their values are extracted but there are but are not displayed. This data is used as backup option for line item matching. If the primary algorithm does not find a definitive link matches 
by this method are indicated uh, with a low confidence rating. Note, if the line item qualifier that is relevant between two talks type is not displayed first or is not the list created for a company or trading partner level configuration for to force and selecting the qualifier as you want to use. Segment CTP pricing information, loop L T1, loop detail information is used as you can see over on the screen. How, there might be some question can be asked in the interview if you are giving an interview and so it's very important how to send and receive an ADI 810 file it's called the invoice file previously many ADI transactions including 81 TAM are carried, carried out through the VA and value added network we can send the information or the ADI protocol which is called the WAN currently in order to provide an aff affordable and cost aff efficient ADI exchange most companies have switched a point to point communication such as Client certain client services, cloud services, service provider AS2, it's called the applicability statement, um, exchange document over the internet by using the digital certificate and encryption of the PDI data. Cloud services provide FTP, SFTP, file transfer protocol, and secure file transfer protocol. This file transfer protocol allows business to connect with their partners via the internet in the order to exchange PDI documents. Cloud service providers, HTTP, EDI web based web services, REST API, the EDI web services again gain more and more popul popularity because it is much more cost efficient and you can use, can, you can be up and running in less than one hour. Uh, is an EDI S X12 is X, X, a 10 voice? Yes. In the November 2019, India invoices uh, like India invoices in inter international business practices, a 10 electronic document sent by the seller um, by the seller to the buyer and uh, for to receive to a payment uh, to receive payment for the goods and services. The India extra transaction set contains the information about the goods and services, their quantity and the prices which they were delivered to the buyer, the characteristics of the goods like color, weight, uh, quantity, delivery, uh, items, terms and information about the sender and recipient. An electronic invoice can be generated in the various standards and all depends on the, on which standard our partner agreed in use to order to exchange for the example an X, N612 and which is preventing the which is prevailing in North America. This document is called the NCX12 trading transaction set. It then invoice. You can also see various names in the document, for example, X12, it it's EDI invoices, EDI invoice, it then NCX12, EDI X12, it EDI it EDI documents, it then multiple transactions set are there. So you can see it and invoices. INVYC. Invoice in along with the EDI 10 invoice, the international UN EDI FACT standard, which is the uh, pretty dominating outside of America, of North America invoice document and delivered from the world invoice, but uh, limited six uh, letters according to the EDI FACT. The key data of the element is 10 invoice, a typical data EDI data document, uh, often including the information like invoice number date and versus order number deliver date list of the items and services item price and quantity, quantity identifier pay, payment the terms and depending on the goods and services uh, currently in order to provide an affordable cost efficient EDI exchange most companies have switched their point to point communications like most of the company are using the AS2 most of the company is using the SFTP ICTP web based browser and multiple information are there okay and if you talk about the like REST API is the STDB based on the X, X, XML and offer to the trial as well. And typically, the most business community partner, the basic document information, exchange the trading partner 850 trusted order and 810 invoice. This statement to partially prove the EDA world as well. Uh, below the you can find the possible EDA scenario in the retail industry, whatever that is used in the retail. Seller send the buyer. Seller sent to the buyer an EDI 8846 inventory inquiry message to advise about the stock level and status and availability. EDI 846 can include also pricing information. Upon the receiving a purchase order, seller to send a purchase order acknowledgement 855 to confirm goods are available to be sold. In the next step, 
buyer could send the seller to purchase order change request it 860 to request a change of the previous uh, previously submitted order any changes required then you can submit the 860 otherwise how the seller respond to the purchase order to change request acknowledgement 865 to notify the accepted or rejection with the change of the purchase order of previously submitted by the buyer to sign the um, contain the shipment of the seller the seller sent that EDI 856 advanced shipment notification is called EDI ASN the EDI ASN documents must be transmitted before the arrival of the goods and EDI invoice return can be transferred to the buyer after filling out the delivery order along with the trading partners the EDI 810 invoice benefit like an EDI document I did 10, 8, 10 faster communication between the seller and the buyer and reduce the risk of the errors and using the ADI much better than much easier than a trading part, trading paper, tra traditional paper work as well. Okay, thanks to ADI change of information for the free errors as well. Error free and major benefit of the ADI reduce the paper workflow and increase the business efficiency by reducing the time and take both parties to complete the transaction, reduce administrative time spent manually submitting invoices. Uh, and other essential document resolve manual data entry errors customer satisfaction is growing due to pay in rapid completion and delivery of your order fast payment from your customers as well segment claim like these are the segments which included in the 810 is is user interchange control and mass uh, marks the beginning of the transactions that we start from this uh, standard receive information are available and gs function group pattern it's called and contain the information functional group and provide the sender id and receiver id and the st transaction set header to include the indicate that part to start of the transaction site to start and assigning control number there must be only one instances per transaction vit segment beginning of segment and to indicate the beginning of the invoice transaction and submit to the identify and transfer to identifying numbers and dates and one identify the party of the organization name and code st ship ri are limit to the n1 cent conjunction at the stq when the n1 indicated the ship to location and the stq indicate to the bill of the to the location idt terms of sale differs uh, deferred uh, terms of the sale to indicate the discount terms code 5 discount and not applicable dtm date time reference to a specified part pertinent dates and times code 11 shipments uh, stq and tds and scat and ctt multiple transactions are included in the 8 time so you can in the last one thing ia segment is called the interchange uh, control trailer okay which is interchange control more, zero more than functional group are uh, interchange related control segments so thank you friends if you like my video please like share subscribe this channel and i will provide you all these related videos the edi and thank you friends for keeping and watching my video thank you